By the time this video comes out, Easter will be over, but today is Easter Sunday, so I'm going to cook a leg of lamb. This is going to be a lot of cooking, there's no lying about that, but with the power of editing, it should be a short video. So, first things first, get your oven preheated at 160, I'm going to be cooking this slowly by the way. Get the oven up to 160, and then we can start making a rub for it. Get a pestle and mortar. Add a teaspoon of fennel seeds. Give those a grind. To that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of fresh thyme and a teaspoon of oregano. And then two garlic cloves, which I'm going to chop. Add that. If you have any rosemary, it would be a good idea to add that at this point, but unfortunately I don't have any. So to finish off, I'm just going to add a pinch of salt and some black pepper. And then enough oil to make a paste. Grab a pan big enough for your lamb. Poke a few holes in it. Then pour your oil and herb mixture all over the top and just rub it all in. Try and get into those little holes. Add 300 mils of chicken stock. This is going to help make a nice gravy for when it's finished. Wrap with a piece of grease proof. And then wrapping tin foil. Now this is going to bake in the oven for about three to three and a half hours. The oven's at 160 or 320 Fahrenheit if you haven't joined the metric systems yet. Americans, I'm looking at you. Um, so while that's starting to cook, we can get on with the rest of it. Next part to prep, batter for the Yorkshire puddings. Now traditionally Yorkshire puddings are only for beef, but I've had a request to make Yorkshire puddings, so I'm doing them today with roast lamb. I use a volumetric method. So for, well, this is for two people, but this will make enough for four people. Grab two eggs. Make sure you see where on the glass that is up to. Pour that into a jug. And the same quantity of milk. Now you could put a bit of tape on the jug to see where you're up to, but I'm freaking awesome, so I don't need to. And then again, the same quantity of flour. To that, we're going to add some pepper and some salt. And then we're going to whisk that up. Once you've got it all whisked up, we're going to wrap it in cling film and just leave that to sit. With the roast lamb and the Yorkshire puddings, I'm going to do some roast potatoes and some whole glazed carrots. So for now, I'm just going to peel and chop those, put them in water and peel those and get them ready. So we've got our potatoes sitting in some salted water. We've got our carrots peeled ready to go. We've got our Yorkshire pudding mix made. The lamb's only been in the oven 15 minutes. Um, we're not going to cook this until we've got about 45 minutes left on the lamb so that gives you 2 hours and 15 minutes to do something productive. It's been cooking for a couple of hours, had a couple of gin and tonics, it's time to start on the veg. Call our potatoes and our salted water, we're just going to put those straight onto a heat. And we're going to cook those for about 20 minutes. While that's doing that, get the pan that we're going to cook our potatoes in. Grab some thyme, grab a clove of garlic, just give it a squash. Add a generous amount of vegetable oil, add a knob of butter and we're going to put that in the same oven as the lamb. For the carrots, I'm going to grab a pan, grab 125 mils of butter, 75 grams of sugar, two star anise, and about 200 mils of water and we're going to bring that to the boil. Once that's boiled, we're going to add our carrots. They're going to cook for about 45 minutes. Then you can turn them off and warm them up again later. 
the potatoes have cooked for about 20 minutes they get to that point where they're really starting to almost break up I've drained them off let them steam dry in the pan I'm gonna give them a little bit of a knockabout then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of flour give them another knockabout grab your dish out of the oven put your potatoes in there should sizzle in the fat chuck them back in the oven they're going to cook for about the same amount of time that it takes for the lamb to finish cooking so for now we'll have a glass of wine while the potatoes are in the oven grab your pan that you're going to make your Yorkshire's in put a little bit of oil in the bottom of each and then chuck that in the very bottom of the oven just to start warming up the potatoes have had about 15 minutes just going to give them a turn over and then give them a baste and then put those back in the oven the lamb has had about three hours going to give it a quick check that looks good now I'm just going to put that back in the oven for about another 30 minutes uncovered after 45 minutes your carrots will look like that at this point we can stop cooking them and then we can reheat them when we come to serve dinner after another 30 minutes the lamb is now ready I'm going to wrap that lamb to keep it nice and warm I'm going to reserve the juices to make the gravy out of at the same time I'm going to increase the oven temperature to 230 which is about 460 in Fahrenheit and get that ready for the Yorkshire puddings while keeping an eye on the potatoes so the lamb is wrapped and I've got the juices from the pan let's make some gravy for the gravy I've got a very hot pan going to add a healthy amount of red wine maybe a little more for me then we're going to let that reduce after the red wine has reduced to about a third of its size I'm going to add a big knob of butter let that melt and at this point we can probably take the potatoes out in the oven so the potatoes are nicely cooked uh, we can just keep those warm and we can start on the Yorkshire puddings for the Yorkshire puddings grab your pan out of the oven should be nice and hot pour a little bit of your pre-made batter into each well chuck those back in the oven and don't touch them for 25 minutes butter has melted we can now add a tablespoon of flour give that a stir and then we add our juices from our lamb dish give it a whisk and we're going to wait for that to come to the boil at the same time we can start reheating our carrots after 20 minutes or so you should have a nice thick gravy like that nice glossy shine to it your carrot should have reduced down lovely and you'll have this nice rich aniseedy buttery sauce to go with them and your Yorkshire puddings should look something like that let's go eat it slow roasted leg of lamb crispy roast potatoes glazed carrots Yorkshire puddings a nice rich lamb jus it's nothing without some mint sauce and some red wine enjoy <laughs>